and welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. So today is weigh-in day and I'm going to hop on the scale and show you what happened. And it's also kind of a sad day for me. For one, I'm incredibly tired. I only slept about six hours last night and I don't know why. I'm just really tired. I woke up early this morning and couldn't go back to sleep like earlier than I normally would. Um, I think because today is kind of a rough day, because today was supposed to be my due date, I'm supposed to have a baby right now, and it's just like kind of hitting me hard right now, it's a really difficult time. So I'm going to try to rally and be cheery for you in this vlog, but I don't have a lot to give today, I'm sorry. And uh, so I'm wearing my necklace today, so I've worn this necklace before, but I don't think I've told you very much about it. So after I had my um, miscarriage, the midwife was so sweet and so kind and she came to check on me like numerous times and she brought me this necklace. So it has the letter A for August and it has a ruby which was his birthstone. And so she brought me this necklace and I, I don't wear it a lot but I wear it sometimes when I feel like I wanna be connected to the baby. Um, so I'm wearing it today. I don't know. Maybe it's making me more sad and I shouldn't do it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it sucks. Um, also, I have been fasting for 38 hours and 4 minutes. And I am ready to eat. So the first thing we're going to do today... Well, I, I say the first thing. It's 1 p.m., okay? I've been up since, like, 7 this morning. <laughs> but I had to edit a vlog and do some other stuff around the house. And now I'm ready to break my fast. So I've got to go season up some sna some some snakes. Some snake, Not snakes. Steaks. So Andrew can grill them because I really want to break my fast with a steak. Oh, and I know you want the weigh-in, so let's do that first. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place today. So there you have it. I gained 0.6 pounds this week. I'm very disappointed. I was hoping to lose a pound. So I am at 172.6 now. Last week I was, at, I was at 172. So now I've lost a total of a little less than 60 pounds total. I was really hoping to get down to 171 this week. Um, but you know, that's the way things go. It could just be hormonal fluctuations because this was supposed to be the week I ovulate. Yeah, it's just it's just a disappointing day for me today. I know. <laughs> it's just a sucky ass day. Um, yeah, so last week I had a huge loss of almost five pounds and this week I gained 0.6 pounds. But that's just the roller coaster ride of weight loss. I'm not gonna let that discourage me or stop me from, from pushing forward because if you do that, then you're never gonna make progress. And so even though I gained 0.6, I actually lost 4.2 over the past two weeks combined. So if we look at it like that, I'm still ahead. I, just, I was just hoping to go down more. <laughs> I knew that loss was too good to be true. And sometimes like when you're losing weight like this, your body just holds on to water and then you'll just lose it all in a whoosh like I did last week. So I'm not too concerned, especially because this morning for the first time, I noticed that I have loose skin on my boobs. My boobs are shrinking and it's not pretty. I'm gonna be able to roll them up like fruit roll-ups after I lose 50 more pounds. <laughs> might, have to get, might have to get a breast lift and skin removal surgery, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So my bras are fitting looser, so I know things are going on. Like, I know my body is changing, but that doesn't always reflect in the scale, and you just can't let that discourage you. You just have to keep going. And uh, I should have taken measurements. I need to start taking measurements. I'm just, I just, I hate taking measurements. It's a huge pain in the ass. And I never know if I'm, like, getting the correct measurements, because how are you, how do you know you're doing it on the exact same spot in your body every time? It's just, ugh, I hate it. But I need to do it, because that's probably a more accurate way to, you know, gauge your progress. Anyway, let's quickly talk about where I think I went wrong this week. I don't think I did anything too terribly wrong, but there are some things I want to improve. First of all, I did eat a small 
cake donut and that was for my full moon ritual that I did that for cakes and wine I'm not going to do that anymore I feel like that was probably the main reason why I didn't lose weight because as soon as my body gets a shot of sugar and carbs that high it's just like holding on to everything so I'm not going to do that anymore I'm going to have beef jerky at my religious ceremonies from now on um, so yeah I think that was probably the my main problem this week but also I wasn't eating just one meal a day some some days I was eating like two or three times but other than that I didn't go off the carnivore diet so I think this is just one of those up and down kind of things and I'm not I'm just gonna keep going forward on the carnivore diet like it is working for me overall I want to make one more improvement though I want to just stick to beef butter bacon and eggs and try to cut out the hard cheese every week I say I'm gonna cut out the hard cheese and I never do this week I'm gonna do it this week it's just beef bacon butter and eggs and I probably won't even have any bacon to be honest it'll probably just be beef butter and eggs because I haven't really been feeling like bacon I don't know maybe I'll have some I don't know you never know how you're gonna feel from day to day but I want to stick to beef bacon butter and eggs I'm probably gonna eat twice today I'm gonna have a steak and then later on I'll probably have like a couple burger patties or something because we're gonna grill some burgers too and then tomorrow I'm gonna pick up with one meal a day um, I always have two meals a day the day after a long fast, uh, after a 36 hour fast. So I didn't eat anything yesterday. So I feel like I need two meals to kind of make up for that. Also, I want to increase my fat intake because I feel like I've been eating more protein and less fat. And sometimes that can hinder your weight loss too. So I want to really just increase my fat, make sure I'm getting 80% of my calories from fat and not um, eating any lean meats or anything. So those are kind of the changes I'm gonna try to make over the coming week to try to get some more of this weight off. I still believe I can get down to my goal of 169 by the end of the month. Um, I have, what, three pounds to lose, three and a half pounds to lose, so I think I can do it. If not, that's okay. That's just a goal I'm shooting for. All right, y'all, so let's go make these steaks because I need some food bad. Andrew is about to go outside and get the grill ready. Is it cold outside, baby? He doesn't know. I think it's probably cold out. It was really cold yesterday, but we grill even in the winter. As long as it's not actively snowing, we're gonna grill. So I have this package of New York strip steaks. These are beef loin, top loin, New York steaks. These are my favorite steaks. And we eat these probably at least once a week, sometimes twice a week, depending on if we can afford it or not. So one thing that people ask me a lot since the last video I made about my uh, where I was answering your carnivore questions is the expense of doing the carnivore diet. Is it more expensive? And I have to tell you, meat is obviously more expensive, especially higher quality meat, like steaks. It's obviously more expensive than if you're eating rice and beans all the time or ramen. But in our case, we have spent less on food over the past three months than we have in years. One of the reasons is because we rarely eat out anymore. Um, I hardly, we hardly ever eat at restaurants maybe once or twice a month max if it's like for with going with family or friends or something but yeah we hardly eat out at all and we used to eat out multiple times a week so that saves us so much money on food as far as groceries go i eat so much less food since i only eat once a day and most of the time and sometimes twice a day that i end up spending way less on groceries overall even though the food we buy is more expensive than the food we used to buy it still costs less overall but I do splurge on things like fancy coffees and stuff. So I could probably save more money than I do and beef jerky and stuff. If I didn't buy that stuff, we'd probably be spending about the same. But our grocery bill now is $20 more per week than it was before. So just to give you an idea. And you know, we could easily go cheaper. You don't have to eat steak. You can eat, you can buy bulk ground beef and make ground beef patties, eat eggs, eggs, ground beef, butter, bacon, you could live on that and be fine but i like my steak and my roast so we spend a little bit more so i hope that answers that question you'd really just have to try it for yourself and see how it works with your budget but you can definitely do it on a budget all right y'all so what i'm gonna do for my steaks here is first i'm gonna salt them with just some fine uh salt some fine sea salt here. This new seasoning mix that I have doesn't have a ton of salt in it. So I'm using my roasted garlic and herb. I use this pretty much on all my beef. There we go. And 
I'm just gonna season my steaks with it, just like I seasoned my roast with it. <laughs> it's really good on beef. And it looks like this is out, but that's okay because I bought the big boy three times more. <laughs> I knew I was gonna use this, so I thought why not just save some money and get the bigger container. It's cheaper than buying the same amount in the smaller containers and it's gonna last longer. Oh man, that really, that really came out there. I feel like I'm gonna lose a lot of this, but we'll do our best. I'm just gonna flip them over Oops, and try to get the other side. And some of it does come off, but there's really nothing you can do about that. When you gotta get both sides. We tried seasoning them when they were on the grill. That's because I didn't have the shaker side. Um, we like put them on the grill and seasoned them one time and then everything caught on fire. So we don't do that anymore. <laughs> that was a really bad idea. So I don't mind if we lose a little bit of the seasoning by seasoning them on the tray before they go on the grill. Okay, done. All right, y'all, we're outside getting the grill ready and it's actually not very cold out here at all. Like I have short sleeves on and I'm fine. So please don't judge our messy patio. We really need to spend some time cleaning out here, but I'm not gonna do that until spring because <laughs> it's just gonna snow out here all the time. So Andrew's getting the charcoal ready on the grill. This is our little charcoal grill that we use to cook most of our meats on. And we like to use this natural uh, lump charcoal. It doesn't have like all kinds of toxic chemicals. It's just charred wood. So that's what we like to use to grill our meat with. I don't like gas grills. I like the taste of charcoal. It feels like almost hot out here with the sun shining on me. Well, so I can take my sweater off for sure. It feels good though, but I wish it was cold. I want it to be winter. It's like freezing yesterday and then today it's like 60 degrees. Oh, I better get back though. I don't want to get caught on fire. It won't be that bad. There we go. Yay, we have fire. Oh my God, I'm get, I gotta get back. Look at that precious Gibbons. He's having his fun in the sun. <laughs> While we're waiting for the grill to get ready, I'm gonna prepare the burgers and we're also gonna throw a few sausages on there. For Andrew, I'm probably not gonna eat those. So I've got these two Adele's uh, Cajun pork sausages that we're gonna throw on there. These are the leftovers from when I made pig shots before. So when we grill, when we fire up the grill, we throw as much on there as we can um, so that we make good use of the charcoal. And we just try to grill as much meat as we can because it's always good to have leftovers. So anything I have in the fridge I can throw on there, I do. So we're gonna throw those sausages on. And then we've got these frozen beef burgers that I bought the other day. And we just put them straight on the grill frozen and they cook through fine. We don't season them or anything. And then when they come off um, of the grill, then we'll put uh, salt on them. So when you pull them out, this is what they look like. They're just a patty with paper stuck to them. So I just separate them and put them on the plate. This is my meat plate I'm preparing for Andrew to grill. He does all of the actual grilling out there and I do all the prep. And sometimes we'll also throw some hot dogs on there if we have some, but we don't have any today. I ate them all with my eggs one two three four five so we usually do six burgers at a time three steaks six burgers and any extra meats that we might have laying around we'll throw on there and that will feed us for about two days all right we're ready i think the coals are ready so andrew's gonna put the steaks on first oh my god i'm so looking forward to this listen to the sizzle So we're gonna cook these for a little bit before we put the burgers and stuff on. Oh my God, look at that! Yum! All right, we're about to pull some of these steaks off. Oh my God. I think the big one needs a little bit longer. I think that one's done on the end. What do you think? Oop! Don't get burned. I literally cannot wait for those. 
When I said I was going to increase my fat, I was not kidding. I'm going to do two tablespoons of butter on this. And yeah, I'm going to eat all that in that steak. And that's probably going to be enough for me, maybe for the day. But at least until way later tonight. I just have to real quickly compliment the chef because Andrew, this is the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. After almost 39 hours of no food, being able to eat this friggin' steak is so good to me. Thank you. Gibbons, what are you doing? Are you hanging around? Just hanging around this town on the corner? <laughs> I feel so much better. I think I'm in a meat coma though. How about you, Andrew? It was very good. It was, it was delicious, but I gotta digest for a while. See you guys in a little bit. We are on the way to the Dollar Tree. We've got to go and find a birthday gift bag for Andrew's mom and a birthday card. And I also want to look at candle holders while I'm there. Cause I can't help myself y'all. I can't help myself and maybe even look at the Christmas stuff. We'll see how it goes. All right, y'all, we're going into the Dollar Tree. All this stuff is $1.25 each. Look at the little elf. I want some of these socks, y'all. I love these fuzzy socks for in the winter time. Yeah, I'm gonna get me some. Do they have any purple ones? No. Wait. Yes. What's on that? It's a sloth. It's a sloth? Oh yeah, I have to get those. They're cheap, but I want them. This is a good place to get gift boxes if you need them for really cheap. They have all kinds of ornaments and stuff too. All for a dollar twenty-five. I don't need any ornaments, but they have some cute ones. Look at those. They're like knitted, like made out of knit. Ooh, I like those too. Very rustic looking. You could do a rustic Christmas just from the Dollar Tree, man. These stockings are way better than the ones we have at home. Like, they're just better quality than the ones we have at home. You like basic ones, Andrew? Like this? No. No, that's... Just diamonds all over? That's what you call it? Basic is covered in diamonds? <laughs> well, it doesn't have like a snowman on it or anything. No, and basic is in red and white. Oh, well, there's red and white ones down here. Look, it's even got a little stocking for the dogs. Is it? There's a bear on Toblerone. It. There's a bear? In the mountain, you see him? He's standing up. No. His little head's there. Oh. And his arms and his legs. Oh yeah. We're gonna get Andrew's dad some Queen Anne cordial cherries cause he loves these things. There's only five of them in here for $1.25, but oh well. It's the thought that counts. Look at these tree toppers. I think these would uh, actually fit on our tree. Yeah, Look at that. Tree. I think the red, the red one. What do you think? I'm gonna try one. Y'all, look what I just found at the Dollar Tree. Mini glass containers, six of them for $1.25. These would be so cute to store your like herbs in. I love that. I want to get some of those. They have quite a few different candle holders. A lot of these type. I'm making a couple of these. I like these little jars. Those are cute. Ooh, I like the purple ones. We had to go get a cart because I was buying too much stuff. <laughs> okay, here's the like birthday bags and stuff. Let me see. Welcome? Kind of a welcome bag? It's a welcome, welcome baby. baby. Oh, 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 I get it. Okay, here's birthday over here. Happy birthday. What is that? Hooray, what is it's that? your birthday. I mean, you should just get like a generic one. It's not just any words on it. Yeah, that's true. They're also cheesy and terrible. 
Yeah, you're right. Let's go. They have generic ones over here. Let's just get one of these in a nice color. We're going with that. I think that's pretty cute. Also have really nice birthday cards for 50 cents each. This is where we buy everybody's birthday cards. Cause it's just not worth spending like $8 on a Hallmark card when you can buy them for 50 cents here. We're back home and Andrew's in the living room wrapping my Christmas gifts. So I can't go in there. I've been banished. So I'm in my office gonna do some work and I wanted to show you guys uh, what I got at the Dollar Tree. So I showed you most of it when we were in there. I was really surprised at like the quality of stuff. I haven't been in the Dollar Tree in a long time. And I was really surprised at the variety and the quality of the stuff. Some stuff was garbage, but a lot of it was pretty good. And uh, everything, it used to be everything was a dollar. That's why it was called the Dollar Tree. But now everything's a dollar and 25 cents. They had to raise the prices. Even the Dollar Tree couldn't keep up with inflation, I guess. Um, so of course I got this cute little uh, birthday bag to put my mother-in-law's gift in, which we're gonna do in a minute. And I, we ended up getting her a really nice birthday card. So if you're watching this, if you're watching this Andrew's mom, turn it off because I'm about to show your gift and your birthday card. So don't watch. I know she watches my vlogs sometimes, so I got to make sure. Um, so we got her this lovely card. It says, for my mom, with love. And it has this nice little poem in it. Um, we thought it was perfect for her. Her favorite color is purple, just like mine. So I got a purple card. We got the Queen Anne cherries for Andrew's dad. Five of them. I said, there's only five in there. And Andrew goes, he doesn't need that many. <laughs> I got my sloth socks, y'all. My cozy sloth socks. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to put these on. I might need to wash them first. But yeah, $1.25 for fuzzy socks. They're cheap, but... I like to wear them around the house, you know? And then I got this tree topper. We're gonna try this on in a little while after Andrew's done in there. Cause I feel like it's gonna look cute on our tree. I hope so. If not, it was only $1.25. You're not out too much money. Now I did end up getting two uh, of these really pretty purple candle holders that I'm gonna put in the living room. And they didn't have like votive candles. Let me show you this up close. Isn't that pretty for $1.25? And they had a bunch of different colors too. Now, they didn't have any votive candles, um, but they did have some, some tea lights. So I got these lavender tea lights. They smell pretty good. And these are only $1.25 for six. So I'm gonna put these into these candle holders and burn them in the living room. And then I got one of their tall uh, glass jar candles. And I got, th these are unscented, but I just got this for light purposes. I'm going to put this in the bathroom so I can light it at night, like when I'm taking a bath or if I just don't want to turn the light on. So they had some pretty good stuff. And that was all we got. And I got all that for $11. All right, y'all, I'm going to uh, get Andrew's mom's gift packaged up here. So I got her, um, I already showed this once, but if you didn't see the vlog, I got her this really pretty Pioneer Woman coffee mug, which I need some tissue paper and it's in the living room. Ah, hold on. Okay, I got Andrew to bring it to me. Yeah, so I got her this really pretty mug. It's got flowers on it, really cute. And then I got her this uh, Pete's dark roast, French roast coffee to go with it. Tasting notes of chocolate truffle, smoke, and caramel. This is some good stuff. She likes a uh, French roast, so. I'm going to wrap the mug up in tissue paper. Alright. Hopefully that doesn't make it too difficult to get to. And I'm going to put it in the bag. And then I'm just going to stick the coffee in here like this. And then we're going to put some tissue paper on top of it. Like that. All right. Perfect. Now her gift is ready. We just have to write in her card. And we're going to break 
to take her out to breakfast tomorrow and we'll give that to her then. And while we're here in the office, I can't forget to say thank you to those of you who bought me a coffee since last time. So thank you to Drew for the five coffees. Thank you for Andre or Andre. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, thank you to Edith for the six coffees. Thank you to Summer for eight coffees. Thank you to Laura for 10 coffees. Uh, thank you, Shell. Thank you, Tracy, for five coffees. And thank you to Audra. I really appreciate each and every one of you and your comments are so sweet too. I love getting those, thank you. And if you would like to support the channel and buy me a coffee, it's just a donation of $2 or more and you can find the link down in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. Andrew just told me that he's done wrapping and I can come look at the gifts. Oh wow, it's dark in here. Look under our tree. Oh my goodness. We've got more gifts than tree. All right, y'all, I want to uh, use my new candle holders that I got tonight. So I'm going to open up these little candles that I got to go inside. And I'm going to get some votive candles to go in these, I think. But right now, this was all they had at the Dollar Tree. And I, I don't have any votives um, for household use right now. So we're going to have to go on a shopping trip for those. But instead, we're gonna put these little ones in here and burn those tonight. Can't see what I'm doing. There we go. I got this candle lighter, which is so incredibly helpful for lighting candles. Would highly recommend. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, those are really nice. Look, Andrew, what do you think? Good. He nodded yes. So I think I'm going to move this one over to this table. And then this one I'm going to leave on the coffee table because I don't want to put it over here on this end table because that's where Gibbons drinks. And I don't want him to not be able to get to his water or to knock it off. So we're just gonna leave it here on the coffee table. I've got my fur candle going over there. Lavender and pine are the scents in our house tonight. Oh, I also forgot to show you guys that we got some new taper candles. Those ones we got from Hobby Lobby that look like candy canes were absolute trash. Like they would not relight again. They were just horrible and they were expensive. So I went and got these just white, unscented, regular taper candles. And they are fantastic. I got them from Walmart, a four pack for like $3. So if we turn off the light, we can see how the room's looking so far. We really need to get a fire extinguisher. I do realize that. All right, y'all, I changed my mind. I did something else. I put the candles on the bookshelf. I put the new ones that we got. And then also these little lantern candles that we had before. That's nice. Isn't it nice? Mm -hmm. It looks so pretty. I feel like the camera doesn't do it justice. That's literally a candle thing. Oh, we've got a candle holder on top. We need the candle. I don't have a pillar right now. Not for household use, so. Okay, we need to get a pillar and then we can put that on top. Y'all, Andrew and I just made some of this caribou coffee caramel flavor that we were gonna give us a gift and we gotta buy more to give us the gift. Um, but it smells so incredible. Y'all, I wish y'all could smell this through the screen because it smells so good. If you like coffee and you have caribou coffee in your area, like seriously try it. It is the, it's my favorite coffee. It's the best. How is it? It's good. It is, is it as good as the vanilla hazelnut? You smell the caramel more than you taste it. Mm, but that's what good. I was afraid of. I don't know why caramel flavor seems to be so hard. The hazelnut flavor always comes through really well. Yeah, the hazelnut's really good. Well, it smells good anyway. I'm going to try some. I got to do dishes, y'all. Don't pay attention to my dirty dishes back there. We're almost out of cream. I'm going to have to order some more. Yeah, it's not as good. It's not as good as the vanilla hazelnut. Not even close, but it's still good. I don't taste the flavor very much though. Wouldn't recommend this one. Time has come 
to pay the price to say fair is fair to hang this wreath Merry Christmas <laughs> we're about to hang this wreath up y'all it's happening for real get those pine cones out too because we need those it should be right on top yeah there it is yeah I think that thing's four pounds or less oh yeah that thing's probably like a pound at max all right we're putting the hook together as my Care Bears watch on. My Care Bears and my hug a bunch back there. And now we're about to hang it on the door. No, I thought we were gonna hang it inside. <laughs> we're gonna hang it outside? Not the wreaths are for. But that, it's gonna blow away in the Colorado wind out there. We just put it inside. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna look ridiculous no matter where we put it. All right, now we're fine. We're getting it on the hook. Oh, it fell immediately. Oh, you can do it. All right, it's up. It's up. Hey, it doesn't look that bad. Like here's the door and here's the wreath. I mean, it, it's, it's there, it's a thing, it's on there. All right, y'all, we're about to try and put on this tree topper that I got at the Dollar Tree onto our tree. And I think it's gonna fit. I wasn't crazy about the gold. I kind of wanted silver on it, but they didn't have a silver that was the red. All right, here's what it looks like. And we're gonna go put it on. Let's see. I think it can go right on top. Why does it have a light attached to the top part? Okay. Oh my God, yay! Let me get back here so I can look at it. Oh y'all, that looks so cute. It really does. Look at that. Can't believe we found that at the Dollar Tree. All right y'all, Andrew and I are gonna attempt to make a garland out of pine cones and orange slices and twine. Okay, I do not know how this is gonna turn out. This is what we're gonna string it on, this twine right here. And then we have this whole thing of dried orange slices. Mm, they smell so good. I got them from CD Ron's. And then we got this whole thing of pine cones that I got from Amazon that we're gonna try to string on here. All right, I don't know how big of a twine we're gonna do. How, like how long should we make this? I was thinking of like hanging it up there. Then that long. <laughs> <laughs> that long. That's helpful. Um, you want to measure it or something? I don't know. We should probably see on one on each end. Okay, let's let's through. measure. Okay, we're gonna try to. You stand on that end, and I'll stand. We don't have to go all the way up. Just like. Let's see. Like here is. All right, about like that. Okay, we got it, we got it. Yeah, I don't even know if we have enough like pine cones and shit, but we'll see. We might have to do like an orange and a pi couple pine cones. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Mmm, this smells so good. Somebody suggested making mold wine out of these and I think that's a great idea. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with a an orange slice. Now we gotta open up these pine cones. Yeah. If we were still in Arkansas, we could gather pine cones and acorns and stuff ourselves. But guess what? We ain't in Arkansas no more. That's how you'd say it in Arkansas too. We ain't in Arkansas no more. So then I'm going to take one of these pine cones. And they have like these hangers on them because they're supposed to be ornaments. And then I'm going to put it... Well, that's going to look ridiculous. <laughs> That looks so stupid. <laughs> oh my God, I think we're gonna have to tie up the pine cones. What do you think, baby? You can come up with something. You're the artsy one. Cause like if we had it up here, it would look better at least. I don't know. No, you should droop the oranges. Well, how are we gonna do that? The same way we made the ornaments. Oh man, that's a huge pain in the ass. So we have to right. make like 20 more orange uh, ornaments. <sighs> you know what? Screw that. Ah, the ah, cat's ah, attacking. The cat's ah, attacking. Ah, Gibbons, this is not for you. He thinks that it's a toy. Okay, screw that. That's way too much damn work. I don't want to do that. I'm tired. 
Um, we're just going to do pine cones only, and I'm going to do something else with these orange slices because it just looks ridiculous, and I don't want to go, I'm just, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> so we're just going to put a bunch of pine cones on a twine and see how that turns out, y'all. No, you, that's my end. That's my end. <laughs> that's, my that's my end. You find the other end. And here, you take, yeah, that's why you don't want that end because it's all tangled up now. <laughs> ah! All right, y'all, we're just going to start putting pine cones on this, and we're going to see what it looks like. I don't know. This is, like, really bad. It, maybe it'll look cute, though. After we get them all. all on. You think so? Oh, no. What? What? They're all going to droop towards the middle if we don't yeah, they're all gonna find go a way to keep them in place. I'm starting to feel like this was a terrible idea. <laughs> so we could do only oranges. That might work. Only oranges, okay. <laughs> Oops, only oranges. <laughs> Oops, all oranges. Um, <laughs> we're making a garland tonight out of something. It's just twine. It's just because twine. Always gonna... We're just gonna hang twine. And now I open those pine cones. I can't send well, them back now. We could tie little knots in the uh, in the twine, and that would stop the pine cone from sliding down farther. So but like do you know how hard it's so going to be to tie it? You'll have to like tie something around it. Because you're not going to be able to tie it into itself and get it perfectly spaced. Oh, well, we could tie a twine around it. Oh my god, I don't want to tie twine around twine. I just wanted to string things. That's all I wanted to do tonight, well, is just string things. Get the oranges then. Oh god. Did we have those, do we have any more of those little frosted pine cones? No. We, we put them all on the tree, I think. I need to figure out a better way and I'm just, my brain's not working. I'm so tired y'all because I didn't get enough sleep last night and I'm just exhausted today. And so I just can't, I can't do this. All I wanted to do is put things on a string. I thought I can do that. Anybody can do that. Look how easy that is. And look, our garland's going to be like this long. We could probably string it from there to there. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's literally gonna be this long. No, you have to face it though. Yeah. But they're gonna all just smush together when you hang it up no, like this. No, because the oranges, they're not like slidey because they're uh, the way they stick on there. No. I think once we put them in place, they'll be okay. Screw and, this. And they don't slide down because it's a fine cut. The oranges I'm, a, I'm done, I'm over it. No garland this year. I'm over it. I don't care anymore. I'm Morty. done. <laughs> we tried. Morty's all strung up. Oh, Morty, you're strung up, buddy. That's got to be the most disappointing vlog ever. Watch us try try to make a garland and fail and give up. You're welcome. You're welcome for that content. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna wrap up here after that failure. <laughs> I still might be able to think of something to do with the pine cones. If you have any ideas of what we can do with the pine cones, let me know in the comments below and I'll try out some of your ideas. Um, I know I know lots of things I can do with the oranges. I can make potpourri or we can do mold wine, which I really do want to do this year. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today and I will see you tomorrow in the next vlog. I hope you have a great night and I hope you're having a great holiday season so far. Bye!